this is something you shouldn't be doing. If you have a swing that's not connected and you tend to use your arms and your hands and you're not using your body, you're never going to have a repetitive goal swing. The body leads the arms. The body is the engine, the arms have to follow and we have to create connection. In this video today, I'm going to show you what a connected swing is because connected is the same as repetitive. So let's start with the first exercise, but before I go into it, what is someone's interpretation of connection? Well, what I see often on the driving range at players are, are trying to keep their arms close to their body, which is fine, and, and they're very tense in the shoulders, and they're very tense in the arms. The upper body is going to be working much more than the lower body. And, and if you look at me trying to work everything together, yeah, I'm connected, but I'm, I'm really tight, and I'm moving completely out of my center point. And to be repetitive in a golf swing, you know, how you strike the golf ball, we need to stay in our center point. So this is not being connected, although it looks connected. So that's the first one. The second one that we see is, like I said in the introduction, you know, that people are using their, their hands, their arms, they're getting away from the body, it's not connected. So, you know, you're not using the core of your, of your swing, which is your body, okay? So a great exercise, I get a towel, which I've got over here, this is a classic one that you've probably seen many times, but it really does work. And, and the idea of putting this towel under my arms is just to build up the feeling between the connection between the upper arms and the body. Now, what do I have to do? I'm just gonna keep it under there, grip the club, and I'm just gonna swing, little swings, rotating around my center. So I just get the feeling that my hips are rotating backwards. You can see my right pocket is going behind me. I'll show you from that angle, my right pocket goes back, my arms work, with my body. The same on the way through. My left pocket is going behind me and my arms work with my body. So I'll show you front on. Right pocket back, arms work with the body. Just to here, we're just doing half swings. The most important part of the goal swing is from here to here. We get this right where, you know, we're, we're doing a good job. So from here to here. Now, just gonna throw that. It's like I put this club in my belly button. All right, so I've got it in my belly button. All I'm trying to do is just rotate it, working everything together. I'm connected. I've got my center working with the club head, working with my chest, working with my hands. Everything's working together. So I'm here together and through, okay, and through. So you can see, look, I've stayed centered. I'm not moving this way. I'm staying centered, so my hips are rotating. They're pushing up and they're pushing around, all right? So I'm in this position. Right, another way, I have a ball. If you can, the camera girl can throw me the ball. Lovely, yeah, football, nice soft football or volleyball, whatever it is. I just put that on my chest. I put it in the middle of my arms. I'm just gonna rotate this ball around my body. Look at that, it's just rotating. You see that, it's staying in place. My arms are staying close together and this is building up a really strong feeling. If you have none of these, last one, get your shirt, tuck it under, get your shirt, tuck it under, hold it in. And the same feelings, let the center, my body's working from the center. I'm staying, my head's staying centered, but I'm rotating. Right then, so let's try the drill. This goes under, this goes under. We're gonna start with just these little half swings. I only wanna feel like I'm gonna hit the ball like 30 meters, you know, 30 yards, sorry, or 40 yards. So I just get the feeling of just nice and soft, good position, nicely connected, good posture. Flex the knees slightly. I'm hitting a driver, so I'm just gonna be swinging it up a little bit, and that's all I wanna feel. Let's try, nice and easy. And look at that. Now I've tried to hit that like 20, 30 yards. The golf ball's actually flowing like 60 yards. And why was that? Because I simply hit it from the middle of the club face. So creating that strike, letting the energy come from the center is gonna give me much more speed and power. So that's just in a little swing. Right, so let's now move to step number two. Okay, so step number one was building up the connection, small swings, keeping everything working from the center and swinging it nice and easy to hit the ball 30 yards. Now you have to do a lot of them to keep building up the feeling, but now we have to lengthen the swing. Now we can still lose connection. There is a difference, you know, to, to a short swing and a longer swing. Obviously the arms have to move away from the body. So we lose a bit of connection but we still have to maintain something that we can coordinate from the center. So 
it's important we don't get into this habit of working to here good and then from here stopping the body and lifting the arms or swinging the arms and the hands behind us. So we have to create the correct swing plane. We have to create a good position to swing back down on and not lose too much of our connection because a great swing is from here to here, which is fine, but we need to lengthen that for distance. So from here, we've got to get a club working on the correct line, swinging back down into impact through and up again. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to gra grab a club here. I'm going to place this on the uh, on my target line, but behind the target line. Okay, that should be pretty good there. Let's just check that out. That's good. Right, so what I want to do, as I'm swinging the club back, I, well, I'm just going to grip down the club. So for demonstration purposes, as I swing back, I'm letting the club work from my scent. I'm just going to let the club get a bit of momentum, a little bit of speed, and the weight of the club is just going to allow my wrist to work upwards. You can see this club now is pointing on that target line. All right, that's a perfect line. It can point a little in, it can point a little out, but not too much out, and for sure not too much up. We don't want it too steep. So the feeling from here is we work everything. Well, I'll start from here. I let that club get a bit of momentum. I rotate, I feel it from my center, and I let the momentum of that club, the speed of the club, hinge my wrist into a perfect position. This is a three quarter swing. Then from here, I move into that left leg. I drive down powerfully into that left leg. My arms and my hands are gonna follow my body. I'm now getting from the inside. I release and the speed of the club is gonna hinge back upwards where that club, once again, is pointed to an imaginary line, which is to my target from ball to target. So that's all I'm trying to feel. So I'll start off with easy swings there through. I'm staying nice and centered. I'm feeling this connection. Always got this connection happening. Let it hinge, drive, rotate, let it hinge. All right, that's, that's the feeling. So my hands and arms are still very relaxed. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide it into three swings, three quarter swings. The first swing is going to be first gear, like in a car. First gear, it's going to be slow. Second gear, a little faster. And the third swing will be third gear, maximum speed. Okay, and maximum length of swing. So let's start. First gear, three quarter, let's build that feeling. There, there, okay. Nice. It's actually gone a lot further than I expected. It curved off a little bit to the right, but I did hit it good. It felt connected, it felt quite simple. So let's try another goal for. Let's keep it the same swing, three quarters, the feeling's three quarters, but this time we're just gonna go into second gear. So we're just gonna remember everything we've done, nice and together, stay centered, let the momentum of the club hinge the wrists and get myself swinging through just a little faster, but maintaining them sensations of connection. So I'm set up with a driver, ball's a little to the left, I'm looking at the back of the golf ball, I'm in a good position, nice and balanced, right, let's go. Yeah, that was much better. That's really, I mean, I've really tried to keep that simple and connected, but nice and soft. I mean, the golf balls flew over 200 yards already, and I haven't really done anything. So what we're gonna do now is take that to the next step, the next level, which is we're gonna make a slightly longer swing. We're just gonna complete the back swing. So from here, we're just gonna rotate that a little bit more. Then I'm gonna drive in, let the club follow my center, let my body rotate and then swing through to a finish. We're gonna to go to third gear, full swing. Let's try and keep that feeling of connection. Let's keep it compact. Let's stay in balance. Let's give it a try. Okay. It's a lot of wind today, so we've really got to hit this good to keep it straight. Yeah. Yeah, I've absolutely nailed that one which is good i'm happy right so what let's just like go back have a little conclusion to the lesson in the first part what was we trying to do just create create connection from the center arms and hands relax let everything follow my center point and i've got to stay centered when i do this very important second point what was it it was we can lengthen the swing let the club build up momentum get it into the right position first gear second gear build up that feeling of everything working together. Then you go to the last one, which is third gear, maximum swing, build up that speed, 
Give it a rip, but feel the energy come from your center. Listen guys, work on this. If you do it this way, you will find a huge difference in not only control, but also distance. Remember, connection is the same as being repetitive, being consistent. Be your best. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And please consider subscribing to the channel by pushing the subscribe button and pushing the little bell button next to it so you never miss a video like this one.